Seekman Enchen's viral host integration workflow can be used to detect locations where retroviruses are inserted into a host genome. In this video, our data consists of four FASTQ data files from the short read archive. This came from a gene therapy experiment in which a retrovirus vector expressing the HSVTK suicide gene was introduced into human lymphocytes. In Seekman Engine, we'll start by specifying that we want to create a new assembly project of the viral host integration type. In the Setup Project Files screen, we need to type in a name for the project and specify a project folder. The Input Host Files screen is where we'll input the host genome, in this case human. I earlier used the link to download a free genome template package from the DNA Star website then extracted and saved the folder on my hard drive. I'll just drag and drop the package onto the NGen wizard. In the input viral genome screen, I'll add the retroviral vector genome file, also by dragging and dropping it. In the input sequence files wizard screen, I need to choose the read technology, which is Illumina greater than 50 nucleotides. Then I can just drop our folder of four sequences into the unpaired reads area and click next. We can leave the assembly options at the default values and go to the final screen. Now we're ready to begin the assembly by pressing the Assemble button. During assembly, Seekman Engine will first align the sequence reads to the retrovirus sequence, then collect the aligned reads, and then align them to the human genome reference. The reads of interest are chimeric reads that contain portions of both human and retroviral genomes, and align to the integration sites in the human genome. And here I've opened our completed assembly in Seekman Pro and sorted according to the Sequences column. To open the coverage report, I just select a contig and choose contig coverage report. And here I'm going to sort the table according to the depth of coverage. I want to look at the area of the contig that has the depth of coverage of 147. So to do that, I will double click on it and the alignment view opens with that portion of the contig highlighted. Here, our selection, which is shown in black, is the human host DNA. Notice the nice crisp endpoints, which mark where the human DNA ends and the viral DNA begins. When we drag the arrows at the ends to one side, we can reveal formerly masked sequence corresponding to the viral DNA. To open this contig in the strategy view, choose contig, strategy view, and I will use the zoom button to zoom in on this area. The strategy view shows several items of interest. First, we can tell from the thick red line that this area exceeds our threshold coverage depth and that coverage is on both strands. We can get more information about the depth of coverage by hovering on it. Even more importantly, we can see the location of the viral integration site. In this case, it is located inside of the MAT2B gene. We can get more information about the gene by hovering over the feature. To learn more about the viral host integration workflow in Seekman Engine, or for information about any of our other applications, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.